Hey guys, I want to record one last video tonight before I get cracking on this um, fashion show video that I promised I would put together for the kids. Uh, you'll see it very soon. It should be pretty fun. And my camera's flashing. Why? It's probably going to yell at me and say cards full. I feel like I should wait. Oh, three, two, one. It's literally counting down. I'll be right back. Okay, back. My card was full. And I don't know how much time I have because I just deleted one random thing. So we'll see. Anyways, I wanted to talk about my trip and how it was to be with my, you know, my ex-husband's family for the last, you know, we spent a week with them and how it felt. I got a lot of questions with that asked, like, is it weird that you're hanging out with them? And is it weird that you're this and that? And I just kind of wanted to share share how it felt. So there was a lot, all in all, it was good. It was a great trip, it was so much fun. I love everybody. Um, and I feel like, you know, they, they love me, or they for sure love the boys, and I know that his mom, I mean, her and I have a great bond. So that's, you know, that is what it is. Now, the the his parents divorced when he was younger, so I went down and I stayed with his mom and his stepdad. And while I was down there, his stepdad's brother's son, got married. Does that make sense? So his stepdad's brother, so it was like step uncle's son, so it was like step cousin got married. And the only weird part about the entire trip was that it was once. Once one time was it really actually kind of bizarre. We had fun. I know a lot of them. It was so great to see them. So many of the girls are just amazing because they have little ones too. So we're all kind of like on the same page in life and it's just really, really neat to like be able to hang out with all of them that and get along with them all great. So it's really fun. The only time that it was ever really awkward was when we were at, we were at breakfast one day and one of his, um, one of the brothers or, you know, I'm not even exactly sure. I'm not really familiar with him. I had just met him like two days before. Kind of distant family, you know weddings, like everybody comes in from everywhere. And the boys were being bad, as in just like being crazy boys. So it was really difficult because it's like, I'm sorry. And what made it so weird was that, well, you know, grandpa's there and grandma's there. That's like step family, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm the ex-wife of like, a stepson so it's it's very very removed and that was the only time that I felt awkward and kind of like inconvenient you know and just things like that but anyways he had bought us breakfast and I felt really guilty for it type of a thing it was just I don't know that was the only time in the entire trip that I felt kind of out of place that was it though otherwise it was a blast and you know everybody was really concerned about how the boys and I are doing and how my ex is doing and how you know him and his wife are doing and how I'm doing with that and just like everything that you can imagine and I'm sure like literally that you could imagine <laughs> because you probably think the same thing and truly like it was it was really good it was really good to see his brother again and it was really good to um, see his stepbrother and his stepsister and hang out with them for a little bit and kind of catch up with everybody and his stepbrother and his actual brother are both getting married next summer so it was neat to kind of catch up about that and yeah I mean it was good it was good there wasn't really anything that was awkward I mean genuinely like you know I love these people and they were they were a part of my family for such a long time that I just couldn't imagine them like being gone from our lives if that makes you know sense and I know it's weird because a lot of people are like oh like the in-laws like that's the worst part of being married like why would you keep that part but for me it, it wasn't it wasn't it was like one of the best parts so it's it was nice it was really nice to see my phone because my camera I have nothing else that I can delete off my card right now and anyhow though um uh, kind of losing track of where I was at but yeah all in all I just say it was good it was a fun trip it was so nice to see everybody. I'm really glad I went. I hope that I can go again soon. Oh, what I was saying is it was relaxing. Like, granted, I still had to work the whole time, and it wasn't really, like, vacation at all. <laughs> um, it was still just, I mean, it was getting away. It was having fun. It was having, you know, grandma's set of hands helping me with the boys, which was great. And it was just, I mean, it was a nice time. It was nice to see everybody again get down and kind of have, like, you know, ranch living for a week and kind of just get back to the basics a little bit. I mean, even down to the well water. The well water's amazing. So that was it. That was our trip. I shared a lot of it with you guys, especially some of like our really fun adventure days. All the days that I didn't share it was because we literally just like 
hung around at the house or they were working cows or um what else barbecue or like the wedding or just you know what I mean like there was just so much going on that it was just it, but it was all home stuff so that wouldn't be fun and I think that would be fun to watch in a day in life video so I didn't include it but maybe I should have it would have been fun to look back on for us but all right like I said another video I don't want you guys to catch my yawns so I'm gonna go I gotta edit that video for the kids but all right bye I'm gonna